If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. Just for further notification, just in case somebody flags the video, in no way, shape, or form am I trying to bring any type of negative energy towards the uh, LGBTQ community, nor am I trying to bring any type of hate in their direction. This video is simply a critique of the comments of Jeffree Star, who is a person that is a part of the LGBTQ and what he stated about his own community and his feelings specifically about their terms. I might into all the other bullshit. What other bullshit? The they and them. Yeah. And all that extra shit that we added during the pandemic because everyone mm -hmm. was so bored on their houses. They just started to make up more shit and more, more shit. stuff. More stuff. Yeah. That's where like conservatives like me because I'm just real. Yeah, you There's do no have a conservative vibe to you. You're not they and them. You're trans. You're male or you're female. And you're standing and on that. Get so mad when I say that. How are you a they? What the f does that mean? It's stupid is what it is. Yeah. But you need someone like me that looks like me to say it. Because if you say it, it turns into you're homophobic. You hate trans people. You hate gays. And it's just how you feel. You don't hate anyone. You just think it's stupid. Now, just dealing solely with the comments, I'm not, you know, really caring for anything else of Jeffree Star's history. I know of some things. I think I might have covered some things here and there or, uh, or whatever right my main thing is to focus on this and you don't really have a lot of people in the lgbtq um that will speak out against their own and have an opinion that is vastly different because for whatever reason unanimously uh everybody that is a part of the community pretty much agrees that hey you know pronouns are great pronouns are good all this other type of stuff right but you don't really hear an opposite side. All you hear is that, hey, it's just a sea of people that a thousand percent agree that using these terms are OK. But yet everybody else on the planet is like, nah, this is not really what we were raised on. Um, this isn't something that we agree on. This is not something that we are going to do. And the most interesting thing about that is, as Jeffree Star stated, if anybody who is not a part of the LGBTQ basically states an opinion that is opposite of the rest of the people, they will be deemed as being phobic, which is not the case. It's just a case that people disagree. You agree that you lo love these terms and you want to use these terms. Everybody else agrees that, yo, I'm not really uh, down with that. I'm not using the terms. And then it becomes this whole fear mongering type of thing. Oh, you fear us. And no, it's just, it's again, that's not the case. People can agree to disagree. People can respect directly who you are and not want to delve into all the other things that you know you may fa uh, find that are intricate and you know all these other types of like like i said a lot of people don't ain't, ain't trying to really deal with that they're going to look at you and that's what they're going to base everything directly off of jeffrey star basically said hey during a pandemic people decided to come up with all these terms because they were bored they were locked in their house this is what they decided to do it doesn't make any sense. And I agree with his opinion as he is a member of the LGBTQ that is speaking about his own people, uh, stating his own opinion about his own people. Like I said, it should be at a point where people can criticize or critique, uh, have an opinion without a whole host of people trying to automatically cancel and 
trying to fear monger and all these other types of things like people automatically trying to play victim because the moment in time because jeffree star is a part of the lgbtq uh because he is a mogul uh because of the fact that he's rich you're not going to have a lot of them coming out there oh yeah we're gonna we're gonna cancel him and we're gonna no when i look through the comments nobody's talking about trying to cancel they're stating that uh they don't like his opinion they're stating that uh, Jeffrey needs to leave the trans and the nine uh, binary uh, people alone. Um, but again, he has the right to speak directly on his community. But again, going back to his main point, if I or the other guy that was there decided to state the things that Jeffrey stated, we would be seen as phobic. We would be seen as hateful. Uh, people all over would try to come out and basically, you know, cancel and have all of these things to say. And they'll bring up all of these stats like, oh, because of you, you know, you're the reason that, you know, such and such and such and such is basically happening to these groups of people because, you know, it'll be that whole thing. But they can't use, you know, that type of, um, can't say that it's a trap. Uh, they can't use that type of rhetoric on Jeffree Star due to the fact that he is a part of that community. See how that works? All of the normal stances, all of the normal tones, all of the normal talking points that they would have used if this was a heterosexual male that said this, they can't say it because he's one of them. I'm, I'm just going to continue to repeat that so that people can get and understand what it is that I'm stating, which is more and more people that are of the community need to come out and express and speak their opinion because you have a, uh, I almost want to say like a deafening voice of people, right? They're, they're, they're so loud that it's deafening, right? And they're just screaming to the rooftops like, this is us, this is who we are, and you're going to respect it whether you like it or not, and whatever we tell you to use or to call us, you're going to do it, right? That That's pretty much the overwhelming, right? They're going to force you to basically use these pronouns, right? To, to, to call them these things. Even though this is not what you grew up with, this is not in your belief system, this is not even in your vocabulary at all. At all. But yet they're going to force you to do it. Don't nobody got time for that. I could have sworn that we were dealing with a group of people that were the victims and that were being bullied, right? I could have sworn that because that's usually what it is. If you're a victim and you're being bullied, that means for all intents and purposes that you are weaker than everybody else because the bully, somebody has to be strong. The strong, right, go after the weak, right? So the whole world is pretty much going after the LGBT, correct? But Whenever a conversation comes up about this topic, that whole dynamic switches, right? And, you know, I get it. You know, a lot of people don't want to talk about it. A lot of people, in a sense, don't want to, you know, point that out uh, because just so happens if you decide to have an opinion or critique some stuff, magically stuff happens. But again, you know, the, the main thing that people have to just understand is put everything within context, use um, examples, be straightforward, be meaningful directly with your words, and also, you know, just be as cautious as possible. Again, going back through the whole conversation that I stated, nothing that I said was at all hurtful or harmful to anybody. Like I said, people can agree to disagree, which means that people can still be in the same room have a disagreement about something, but still respect who a individual is at the end of the day, right? That's it. That's it. Like I said, uh, Jeffree Star, I completely agree, might not agree with 99% of everything else, but this, this right here, I agree. <laughs>